I remember one time I was eating at a subway with a friend and he was about halfway into the sub when he stopped and looked at his sandwich and said, you know bro, actually I don't even really like subway that much. And I was like, what do you mean you don't like subway? You made the sandwich. And then he tried to say, well, the ingredients were fake, fake cheese, fake veggies, but they used to sell you a whole entire foot long sub for $5. So I mean, come on now, what did you expect? But Subway is actually crazy when you think about it, because Subway's got the most peaceful environment out of any fast food restaurant. I swear, Subway is the only fast food restaurant that is never chaotic. Subway's the Canada of fast food restaurants. Everybody else is out there competing with each other, but Subway is just out here chilling on their own. I mean, they don't have a completely spotless record, but you know. But for real, is it just me, or is it always quiet and orderly inside a Subway? You know, you walk into a Jack in the Box, a Burger King, there could be, I mean, you could see anything in there. You see a guy taking a nap at a booth, although he could be unconscious, you don't even really know. Some kid is doing everything with his food but eating it, the trashes are overflowing, the soda station looks like the Coke Bear threw up all over it. You know, some guy's order is wrong, he's trying to fight the employee over it, there's like 18 different machines beeping going off in the background. It can just, uh, it can be a lot sometimes. I mean, I saw a clip the other day at a Wendy's. They said someone pulled up to a Wendy's, threw an alligator through the drive through window, and then just left. But, uh, you know, I guess that's just where we're at with fast food restaurants now. But Subway, Subway somehow manages to avoid all of that. It seems like it's always calm and peaceful inside every Subway I've ever been in. Subway's got the atmosphere of a library for real. I could meditate inside a Subway. Subway got the energy of a doctor's office waiting room. It makes me feel like if I'm waiting in line at a Subway with somebody and I want to talk to them, I almost feel like I have to lean in and talk three levels below normal so as not to disturb the atmosphere too much. And speaking of lines, even the customers, Subway is the only fast food place where you'll see everyone make a perfect, orderly, single file line while they wait to order. It could be 15 people in there, but they'll all line up, single file, all quiet, like it's kindergarten. Now you walk into a McDonald's with 15 people waiting, good luck, there's not even a line. It's just a group of people standing around back there, and you don't even really know who's next. Subway might actually hold the title of least chaotic fast food restaurant of all time. And it's not the only one. I mean, there's a couple others. I feel like Arby's is never chaotic, but that's because Arby's is never anything. Arby's is never chaotic because no one is ever there. Arby's is just, it's just there, just taking up space. And then Chick-fil-A is pretty calm, especially for how busy they are. But that's because of their employees, you know, they set that happy vibe. But those employees are almost too happy. And we can't be sure, I mean, who knows what type of re-education program they're putting those employees through over there. Sometimes the happiness feels a little bit off over there. But other than those, I mean, there's not too many fast food places that could say they're never chaotic inside. And there's some, you don't even have to walk inside. I mean, Popeyes, you could just pull up out front and already see people fighting in the parking lot. You remember when they came out with those chicken sandwiches? I might have seen like 11 Popeyes fight videos in one week when those came out. Dog, you could Google Popeyes fight and just scroll for hours. They got compilations of Popeyes fights. Think about that. There's so many fights at Popeyes, they made entire compilations. But I walk into a subway, I automatically feel probably 10% calmer just by being in the atmosphere. I actually lose the urge to fill the water cup up with soda. And that's how you know Jared was a lost cause. Even the good graces of Subway couldn't help him. And then the other thing about walking into a Subway is they all got that smell. Every Subway has that same exact smell. You walk in and take a deep breath, you could actually taste a little bit of Subway bread in the back of your throat just from inhaling the air. That's crazy. They got flavored air in Subway. But don't get me wrong because there's still some annoying parts about Subway. One thing is, every order you place, you know, you get up there and they like interview you. There's a million questions. What size? What type of bread you want? You want it toasted? Do you love this sub? Do you ever get nervous? You want singles? I heard you like ham. Is it true? You get in mayo? And then the other problem with Subway is they gotta straighten out some of these portions because I'll always put lettuce on my subs and I'll always put olives on them. And I started noticing the same pattern over and over every single time I ate a Subway sandwich. Because you ask them for olives, right? And then they hand pick out like seven olives from the bucket and place them one by one equidistant from each other across your foot long sub. 
it's the same thing with the olives every time, which tells me there's got to be some sort of company policy about this. So I don't know where Subway is getting their olives from. I don't know if somebody's scamming Subway for their olives. I mean, how much do you got to be paying for olives to invent a company policy to intentionally be stingy with them? And then they do the opposite with the lettuce. You ask them for lettuce and the employee gets like a twinkle in their eyes and they're like, oh, bet lettuce. I thought you never ask. And then they take like the entire bucket and turn your sub into a salad. It's like it takes everything in them to not just dump the whole thing on there. I remember one time I was on a long drive and I was in the middle of nowhere and I drove through this super small town and I saw a subway with a drive through there in this tiny town in the middle of nowhere and I didn't even know that was something that existed. So I don't know how that's supposed to work. They got like seven different windows for each process of the sub or what. Sometimes you'll be waiting in line at a subway and the guy in front of you is putting every single item possible on his sub. You ever see that guy? He's holding up the whole line. The sub is almost taller than it is long. And then now the employee has to figure out how to try and close it. I remember one time I saw someone do that and when it came time to close the sub, he just told the worker to give it to him open and then he took it to a table and used a fork, started eating it like a salad. Gotta be the worst way to eat a sub, 0 out of 10. The only worse way to eat a sub than that might be this. And whoever did this, they might need somebody to check up on them, you know, just to see if they're okay or not. Earlier, how I was saying Subway is almost always calm and peaceful, I gotta say almost because there was one time I was in a Subway and I thought there was gonna be a fight in the middle of the restaurant to be honest with you. Because I remember there was this middle aged man in line in front of me and there was this kid probably around high school age making his sub and to give the middle aged man some credit, the kid was moving mad slow putting all of this man's ingredients on his sub. I mean I thought he could have just been trying to take his time and make a good sub. But the middle aged man was not a fan of that so he just goes in a very passive aggressive tone. He's like are you new? Did you just start working here? And the kid did not like that comment. He stopped making the sub, looked up, and just stared at him. Like he couldn't believe he just asked him that question. And he says really defensively, he's like, why would you ask me if I'm new here? You know, like he got really offended by this dude implying he was a noob sandwich artist or something. The man shoots back, he's like, oh, it's just because you were taking forever to make my sub and you put the wrong type of peppers on. And then you look at the sub and there's like four other things on top of the wrong peppers. So that was beyond fixing at this point. The kid leans forward a little bit and he's like, well, why'd you wait all the way till now to tell me I put the wrong type of peppers on? I put the peppers on five ingredients ago. And by now they've both kind of leaned in closer, almost like they were about to square up with each other. And they started getting into this little back and forth. I'm standing there in the back just waiting for my sub to get made. The two of them start getting into it. And then the kid's co-worker had to walk up and try to push him to the side. He told the kid, he's like, don't worry about it. Just let me finish making his sub. And then the middle-aged man was like, nah, let him do it if he thinks he's so good. And then the kid is like, all right, then go to the back of the line if you want to restart your sub. So the co-worker is trying to get this kid to step aside. And then he starts looking at me like he expected me to step in and do something. Like, I've got my side of the glass taken care of. Now you take care of yours type look. And I just wanted my sub. I didn't ask to be involved in this. Now eventually they figured it out. The two workers switched places, which calmed down the other man, and they finished making the subs like normal. But I mean, hey, that's a lot of action for a subway. You know, you don't see things get dicey like that in a subway too often. But yeah, let me know if you guys got any subway stories, because I know as soon as I say I've never seen a non-peaceful subway, someone is going to fly out of the comments with their story of how they were a part of some 17-person riot in the middle of a subway once. But as always, thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.